Greetings Exile and welcome to this new format I'm trying to do. Uh, I just ended my stream 12 hours and 11 minutes. So yeah, I basically want to talk about my league progress, what I'm doing in the beginning of league, what I'm doing to get currency, what I'm do doing to get levels, what I'm doing to get pretty much everything. Map progression and it's actually pretty damn easy. First of all, I want to talk about how much did I play. 16 hours and the league is 28 hours old. So, yeah. I had a break of 12 hours. Well, apparently I did. And I leveled up. Yesterday I leveled until Act 5. And today I leveled uh, to maps. And now I'm in maps. Currently like tier 3 to tier 6 maps. And yeah. I'm playing Wintertide, got myself a tabula, and the rest is... Most of the rest is found. I bought the boots, just for some resistances, and I bought this shield. But the rest is just farmed, found, or whatever. Currently having 43 chaos, and I dropped an exalted. What I did so far is just obviously level up. I did level up until level 67 within the blood aqueducts which is this area down here in Act 9. Oh wait, can you actually see it? Ah yeah, you, you can. Let me remove this real quick. So yeah, I leveled up to 67 in Blood Aqueducts, then just finished all the acts, did my three laps, and currently I'm looking for the last two trials, which shouldn't take too long. What I'm doing for early map progression, and that's extremely important, is you will find tier 1 maps. You can just run them and in there you will usually or most likely find tier 2 maps. You only want to run every single map once, exactly once for the bonus. And then once again after you got the awakening bonus and everything. But do not, especially early on into the league, do not run any map twice if you want to progress. So basically right now I don't have any new maps that I can run. Like all of the maps I have, I already have the completion bonus for all of those. So basically what I'm going to do next would be, oh wrong window, sorry, would be I will go to poemap.life. In here I can trade maps. Let's say tier 4 I have, yeah, let's say I have these three maps. In tier 4 I have the lava chamber, park, shore, and I want, let's say I want to have a volcano map. Okay, there you go. Now you just message this dude and maybe he's going to invite you to make a trade. And then you're just simply going to trade maps. So. All the maps you have. Yeah, there you go. He's inviting me. Park map. Nice. Don't forget to press stop down here once you are in the trade. So yeah, so you basically don't have to buy any maps. So we are just going to trade. There you go. Thank you. So yeah, you can use your own maps to trade maps. Again, the name or the website is called poemap.life. And now I got a new map that I have to run. So this is basically how I'm progressing the atlas. If I don't have a map, then I check up there if I can trade one. How are your maps? Also really important is to always check your Zana. Your Zana resets, well for me in, in, uh, in Europe it is 2 a.m. Every day at 2 a.m. for me Zana resets her shop or whenever you have a Zana map mission. Like whenever you open a map and there's a Zana in there, there and she offers you a map, then this shop is going to refresh. And in here, okay so in this case I'm going to buy the Chateau because I need both completions. This is tier 8 map, a little bit too high but I'm going to buy it anyways. So yeah, basically I got two new maps in here as well. So you never run out of maps, trust me. If you always do the Zana thing, if you always trade maps, you will never run out of maps until probably something around tier 9 and tier 10. After that, 
and that's going to be in tomorrow's video. I will tell you what to do next. Really interesting is also you got the Zana missions here if you click on your map device. You always want to run the Zana missions on the highest map that you have. So if you have a white Zana mission you want to put a, a tier 5 map in there. If you have the yellow, uh, yellow Zana you want to try to put a tier 10 map in there. So you can always find higher maps that you are usually not have cleared yet. So that's a really nice progression tip as well. Other than that, um, yeah, currency, 43 chaos. Uh, most of it is just from, from drops and stuff like that. And chaos recipes. If you didn't know that, if you have a full set of items, which means if you can gear the full character of unidentified rare items, which are above level 60, let me show you. If you put everything in here, you will get two chaos if they are unidentified. If only one of those items is identified, you get one chaos for the whole set. If all items are level 75 or higher, you will get, instead of chaos orbs, you will get regal orbs. In this case, I'm getting three chaos because I actually have uh, the prophecy. So uh, let me show you. So I just want to proc the thing here real quick. Okay, got the prophecy. Let me see. I have, do I, have, I actually don't have another set. Sorry. But yeah, so this is basically how you get your early currency going. And that's everything that I'm doing. You don't need to spend anything. Your starter build should be strong enough without pretty much any investment to get to high tier yellow maps. And after that, you might want to get something. I mean, Tabula is only like 12 chaos. So not really anything to mention here. And I believe that's it for now for the progression thing. I'm planning to do one tomorrow as well, and then I will see. And a quick reminder, on Monday there is not going to be a stream, and thus there is also not going to be a video, because I'm not going to play it that day. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and yeah. See you next time, I guess. See you tomorrow.